Bonjour. Thank you for inviting me to your TV programme today to talk about e-translation and the Commission's support for small and medium-sized enterprises, SMEs. We believe digital language technologies can really help SMEs. Automated translation clearly can help expand markets, but also monolingual language technologies like chatbots or sentiment analysis can also help reduce your costs and improve customer service. With the huge leap in recent years between artificial intelligence, high performance computing and big data, language technologies have benefited and progressed in leaps and bounds. Solutions and services have become cheaper, faster and easier to use and also much more accurate. For the first time ever really in the history of humanity, we can now communicate across languages literally at the touch of a button or a touch of a smartphone. It's a technology that perfectly encapsulates the European Union's motto, United in Diversity. And beyond the social aspect, language technologies can also play a huge role in keeping pace with information flow by automatically translating, but also clustering and analysing the wealth of information that hits our desks all the time. This can improve competitiveness in an increasingly competitive market. While SMEs are an essential part of the European economy, they often are not ready for the digital age. They have difficulties digitalizing, and we know that a small percentage, an estimated 3 million out of 21 million SMEs in Europe, only trade internationally. One reason why they don't do this is the language barrier. And this is why the European Commission offers SMEs in Europe free access to our own in-house automated translation tool, e-translation. Because we aim to improve the competitiveness and the internationalisation of SMEs in Europe, within the single market, but also beyond. E-translation covers all 24 European Union official languages. That includes Maltese and Italian and English, to name a few but it also covers other economically and socially relevant languages, such as Chinese or Japanese, Russian and Arabic and Turkish. Across the EU, we work with national contact points to promote this, and in Malta we have excellent cooperation with Ms. Spiteri, who will be talking to you later about the more practical aspects of implementing this. The Commission offers European public sector bodies, SMEs, also non-governmental organisations and academia, free access to e-translation and a series of other language technologies, all for free. This includes speech transcription, named entity recognition, anonymisation, a multilingual terminology resource, text classification and even a social media translator. These tools can all be accessed in, under one portal, language-tools.ec.europa.eu. You need to register because that ensures your privacy. And apart from the high quality, it's the confidentiality of your data that is one of the big advantages for using e-translation. Because we won't use your personal data for commercial users and we won't look at what you translate. We just translate it and then delete the data afterwards. This is a big difference towards some other free tools that basically the business model is based on use of your data. But beyond providing these practical tools, we also work to support the private language sector in Europe. We have lots of good language technology service providers in Europe who can offer you customised solutions that may suit your business needs better. Many of these are brought together also in a one-stop shop called the European Language Grid, and already there are about 190 tools there offering services in Maltese. This sector will be further helped from this year with the development of a language data space. The creation of data spaces, also on sectoral topics such as tourism or manufacturing, is to ensure that data produced in Europe can be used in Europe to give us a strategic advantage in the second wave of the data economy. So I warmly invite all viewers to test e-translation and the other language technologies offered there 
and to embrace digitalization as we make Europe fit for the digital age. Thanks.